Arid Recovery Homes has been helping residents of Niagara in their quest for recovery from addiction since 1976. Their Walk for Wellness is coming up on May 25th and 25 special number, Sandy? Yes. Is it is the 25th anniversary of the walk. Right. That's incredible. It is good. It's a long time. How yeah. much has this walk contributed to building the awareness of what Arid does? Well, each year it builds more and more awareness. I think people are more open now to hearing about mental health and addictions than say like 25 years ago. It was like an odd or a new thing to hear about. So yeah, it's it more was, relevant now. It was taboo 25 years ago, you right? Got it. People look down on people with addiction problems. Yeah, yeah. And now we realize a little bit more about the connection between mental health issues mm -hmm. and addiction as well, mm -hmm. correct? We have, yeah, it's a lot more current. How much has been raised over the years? Oh, I don't know. Just to count it in 25 years, that's <clears throat> that's a good question. <clears throat> but last, we should do that. We should do that. Last year, the year before, like you're usually averaging between 10 and 20,000? Oh, for sure. Between 10 and 20. Some years it's tipped over 20, and but never under 10. Not in a long time. What's the goal this year? 12,000 because it was a little low last year. So we were trying to make sure we get a goal. And uh, I think we'll get past it, though. And you're running it sort of as a hybrid this year. People can do it on their own time or show up for the big event on May 25th. Why that decision? Uh, we did that last year. It's just a bigger reach. We had people being able to walk and donate if they lived in Alberta, Northwest Territories. We had family and friends from everywhere being able to do that and send in their photos or videos of them walking and still be able to participate and contribute and be a part of Arid. And it worked you, really well. Did you get a lot of people doing that? About half. Really? Yeah. That's amazing. Bad. That is yeah, amazing. Really good. But this year again, and you did this last year, so May right. 25th yep. at Wish House. What is Wish House? Wish House is the women's house for Arid. So it kind of got nicknamed the Wish House when at the beginning, like 10 years ago now, we were fundraising for Wish and that was Arid's wish to have a women's home because we only had men's home. So it got nicknamed the Wish House. Then. Right. So that's where we're starting from this year, the walk. And uh, Merritt Island's right around the corner, so we're just going straight there and do a nice walk on the Merritt Island and back. Besides the walking itself, what mm -hmm. else happens? So this year we added some things to celebrate the 25 years. We got a bunch of games for kids and grown-ups. We always have food at the end of the walk. We've added some prizes, some tiered prizing for different levels of, of uh what do you call it when people are raising funds levels of yeah levels, levels of contributions yeah. right right so donations or whatever they get for their um for their money and uh, so it's all tiered so we have a bunch of different prizes and some really nice stuff too and you're hoping that each walker donates at least forty dollars at least forty dollars that gets them a t-shirt that's right you get a t-shirt and then from there it's a hundred dollar tier five hundred and then a thousand so the prize get nicer and bigger as you go up, right? So tell me about the, th is it three locations with Arid? There is, yeah. The yeah. women's house is in Welland. The Thorold house is a men's house and that's our main office. And then Fort Erie has a men's house as well. When, when you look at all of that, how many people can you accommodate at each location? 22 at a time. 22 at, beds. At each location? No, between in total, all three. In 22 yeah. between right. all three. And are they typically full? Oh, we're always full. Yeah, there's no shortage of of people wanting to come in. We always have a wait list. Again, the services that you offer, let, let's look at WISH. It's mm -hmm. a nine month maximum stay? Three to nine months. So we ask people to commit to at least three. Uh, they can stay till nine. And sometimes they tip over if they're looking at moving on to a different program. We wouldn't block them from staying you know, longer than that, but usually no more than a year. Uh, from there, people move on to a different program or get their own apartments. Right. Or, you know, maybe they've gained employment or they're returning back home to their families. We'll want them back now. And so that's a good thing. And at that point, too, you still offer services that they can connect with after they've mm -hmm. moved on from one of your facilities. Right. So they go into like a community mode with us where they can still access us and come in for some programming if they want. And, and uh, yeah, we stay in touch. And then we, we have alumni events or like a fundraiser like this. They'll always come back and help out, volunteer, or just donate money, whatever they can. Sandy, how can people register for the walk ahead of time? Well, they can go directly to our website. Uh, they can access Canada Helps from there. There's a link on there. They can catch the link on our Facebook, Instagram page as well.
It's going to be a great day, May 25th. I know it's going to, the sun's going to shine. Thanks for coming in today. Thanks.